Now, before we get too deep into the Builder plugin and displaying our movies and adding new fields to them and doing all sorts of good stuff with it, uh, first we are going to take a few minutes to get our page in order. So what, I, what we are going to be doing in this lesson is we are just going to write some HTML, CSS is already written for this and I'm going to uh, show you some of the basics of October CMS templating. Don't forget to turn on uh, Live Reload or Gulp Watch when doing this so that our page can be automatically refreshed. So this is the way our page looks right now. It's a bit different from the last time because I added some CSS. So this text is a little bit smaller. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my code editor. I'm going to go to default.htm file and I'm going to add a class to layout content. Uh, which is going to be container. So it's just going to be a container div uh, with some width uh, positioned in the center of the page. And I'm also going to add a clear fix to it. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to create a header.htm file and I'm going to save it in partials. So we are going to call a partial header.htm. First of all, I'm going to save this create a new file. Okay, now uh, I can write something in it. Okay, save it. And now we have to, of course, if we check our page right now, uh, you can see that this is uh, in the center. But I have to call this partial to get this string of letters right here. So to call a partial, you just do this. So you just write partial header. You don't have to write htm because uh, the October will automatically know that the partials are in the uh, partials folder and that their uh, suffix or extension is head, uh, htm. So we save this. Check out our page right now. And as you can see, we have this right here. Okay, let's take... Uh, let's make our header a little bit better. In my header.htm file, I'm going to delete this. And then I'm just going to add a header with a class of main header. Okay, now we just set a container with a clear fix. And now we add uh, h1 with a class of logo and call it October movies. And that should be it for now. We just save this. Take a look at our page. Currently nothing is happening. It seems that, that I spelled clear fix wrong. Now we save it, go to our page, and now we can see October movies. So this is our header. Okay, next thing we are going to do, we are going, we are going to create our footer. Okay. And in here I'm going to create a footer with the class of main footer. Then we are set a, our container. And then we are in h3 tag going to write this is our footer. and then just add some lorem ipsum text uh, below it. Okay. We save this. Now we go to our default.htm file and call that partial. Save this. Uh, we're gonna need to refresh our page a little bit because uh, the footer doesn't exist uh, for Gulp to see it right now. So we have to refresh it. Okay, now the footer is visible. I just had to uh, clear the cache and refresh it once again. So with this uh, plugin right here. Okay, so now that we got our footer and uh, header set up, let's just add some more content to our homepage. 
So we're gonna go to pages, home page, and I'm just going to add some lorem ipsum text right here. Save this. Okay, now we have our home page. So this is our home page, and we have some things right here. Next thing we are gonna do, we are going to create a menu for our page. In our uh, header.htm file, I'm just going to create a navigation tag with the class of main and nav. And in it, I'm going to put a ul tag. And then we are going to add some menu items. So we're gonna add a menu item for home and a menu item for movies. So now we have li and a tag. In a tag, you write this. So this is going to be a home page. So this is a link for our home page. And now I'm going to add uh, some tweak tags to connect to that page. So instead of writing a full URL, I'm just going to do this. So what this is saying is actually we are calling a home page by ID. So the ID of our home page is home page. And then we are using this tweak filter called page. You can find all the filters right here. So in the October's documentation, so you have a page filter. Uh, this is actually this page filter. You have tags that you can use. Uh, you have uh, the filters. So this is the page filter right here and so on. So if you want to link to something, you do something like about page and the ID of the page is actually slug of the page. So you use it like that. Okay, so the next page we want to create, I'm just going to copy this. The next page is going to be movies. Movies and this should link to our movies page. If we, if we go right here right now, uh, we can see that we have home link and movies link. And if I click on movies, we get to the movies page. As you can see, uh, the movies page doesn't look that good right now because it doesn't, uh, we didn't uh, set a default layout for it in the previous video. So we can amend that by going to movies.htm. Or you can go to backend, of course, but we are going to go to movies.htm and just set our layout to be default. And now our movies page looks a bit different. So what we want to do for the end of this episode is uh, create some way for us to know on which page we are currently on. As you can see, when we click on home or we click on movies, it doesn't uh, highlight these menu items right here. So to do that, we are going to go to our header.htm file. And here in our li tag, I'm just going to add a class. And then I'm going to set some conditional logic. So I'm going to say if you're on a page ID of home page, then add active class uh, to this li tag. And also we are going to do the same thing for movies. So to do that, you just write this. So what we are saying right here, if the page ID is equal to home page, then add class active. Uh, else don't add anything to this uh, li tag. And then I'm just going to copy this. Paste it right here. And of course, uh, this ID is not going to be home page, but it's going to be movies. We save this and I already created an HTML, uh, actually CSS for active classes in our menus. So we should see some difference right now. 
So I can, as you can see, the home has this uh, text uh, actually underline border right here. So if I click on movies, now the movies are underlined. So this is, uh, a, this is the way you would create menus for your October CMS installation. Okay, so this has been a basic templating video for October CMS. Of course, there are much more things to cover about templating, but I just wanted to quickly show you how you can uh, get your theme off the ground pretty easily and pretty fast. Of course, we are going to do uh, templating throughout this video series, so you will learn much more stuff about it. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. Remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. If you like this video, please like it. If you like the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And you can also, if you want, follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. Thank you guys for watching once again and I will see you in the next video.